having with us today, Tesh? Uh, so you can show that part of your document. Okay. Okay? I told you about not eating, not drink. Then I, I, I dislike combat Norway and uh, Norway combat Iran. That's that. From my, I don't know, that's that. Also, I have so much about that. Also, I have one arm. Where is the humanitarian? Where is the humanitarian in Belgium? Why I put here? Okay. So really, we are going to try to we are going okay. to try to help you and try to find somebody to come and visit you next week, if possible. Okay. This is a retention center. It is uh, called Votem Retention Center, near Liège, in Belgium. It was uh, opened 11 years ago. So it is a place where people without documents uh, are in detention, are detained. And uh, they are detained although they did not commit any crime. This detention is, is in order to deport them. And so we come here every week since the center was open to protest, to tell the people inside that we support them, to tell them that uh, we don't accept any retention centers in Belgium, that we want deportations to be stopped, and that we want uh, regularization for all the people who need documents in Belgium. And uh, also we give them a phone number so that they can call us. We get in touch with their lawyer if they ask us. We can also find some uh, what we call godmothers and godfathers, people who will come and visit them to give them moral support. Well, this is what we do. Yeah, we send them telephone cards. Uh, we call the lawyers. We find some people to visit them. During 10 years, we came twice a week. Oh. But now we, since this year, we come only on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Before it was Wednesdays and Saturdays. Oh, wow. During one hour. Uh -huh. And also we have our phone permanency uh, every day during the week. Uh -huh. It is from 5 to 6.30, we have somebody answering the phone. Saturday? Here it is each Saturday between 4 and 5. Rue Vise Voix, Votem, 4041, Belgique. People can support, of course, by joining demonstrations, but also by um, asking to visit somebody. And when you visit somebody, you can support the person, you bring her things that she needs, but also you talk with her, you contact her lawyer, you try to you contact eventually NGOs and associations to help the person to get out. Uh, for instance, if there is a, somebody from Palestine, we are going to contact a Palestinian association in Belgium, things like that, or Human Rights League, and so on. Because 